Hello there. Uh, do I look different? Or, not different, should I say, do I look better? Because I got a new phone today, and, uh, yeah. I'm looking at myself right now. This thing is, this camera's really good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just a little brighter, if you guys couldn't see me. <laughs> if you guys couldn't see me, uh, well, you could see me, but you can just see me better. You can see all my details and these little, these little, hey, these, the little light on my glasses. Yeah. That's the, that's the perks to having glasses. You can see it. Mmm, that's great. Anyway, my name is Mr. J3T. A.K.A. Big Sexy, A.K.A. the Kentucky Cannon, A.K.A. the World Class Badass, A.K.A. the Man of the Century, A.K.A. Chocolate Thunder with Caramel Swirl, A.K.A. Black Lightning with a Peanut Butter Filling, A.K.A. the King of YouTube, A.K.A. the Cream of the Crop, A.K.A. YouTube's Best Kept Secret, A.K.A. A.K.A. Mr. Mr. Clean. Your boy's clean. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sorry that I didn't uh, post a video on Sunday. I was debating if I should talk about WandaVision again, like WandaVision Episode 5, but then I decided I already talked about it a lot on my channel, so I wanted to give WandaVision a little break. And today we're going to be talking about a little anime called Attack on Titan. So... Basically, Attack on Titan is about these big monsters called Titans, right? And they just roam around eating people alive. So the humans were like, yeah, we can't have that. And they built these walls to keep the Titans out and them in. And they formed this little squad called the Scouts that go out and, you know, uh, find out, basically find out what's outside and if they see a titan, kill them. So, uh, one day, a big-ass titan called the Colossal Titan breaks through one of the walls and starts, you know, and all the other titans come through the, the wall, like the, the broken wall, right? And they just come in and they start eating people up. And unfortunately... Uh, one of those people is our main character, Aaron's mom. Uh, so he basically vows to kill all the Titans with his two friends, Mikasa and Armin. So, that's the gist. Uh, humans against these big-ass Titans, and they're just trying to survive. That's the gist of the show. It gets a lot more deeper as the show goes on, but when it starts, that's it. Just... Us versus them, humans versus titans, we gotta survive, find out how all this works. And that's basically it. So, there are four seasons right now. The fourth season is actually the final season. Uh, I haven't watched the fourth season yet. I'm waiting for uh, all the episodes to come out so I can binge it. Also, uh, I'm, I'm also waiting for the English dub because I watch anime in English. But the first three seasons, the first three seasons, they're really good. Uh, dare I say, great. Uh, we follow the scouts, uh, as, and we follow Eren and the group, Mikasa and Armin, as they grow up and, like, uh, try and to find out all they can about the Titans and tr trying to find out how to defeat them. And... It was cool to see their the characters' progressions. Uh, I don't know who specifically... Actually, scratch that. I do know it was my favorite. Uh, there's this specific uh, group of scouts led by a man called Levi. And his pretty much second in command. And her name is Hanji. She's my favorite character. I love Hanji. Uh, she's obsessed with learning more about the titans and she's just cheery she's chipper she's bright and peppy and a and a little crazy and i love it i love her she's cool 
Uh, she's by far my favorite character. But, you know, Aaron's cool, too. Uh, it, it isn't until season four where he really starts to kick ass. But, you know, the, the first three seasons, uh, not gonna lie, he was... He, he's kind of a bitch in the first three seasons. Uh, but the the fourth season is when he really starts, you know, like, fuck, I'm about to screw shit up, you know? Uh, but he still has some badass moments in the first three seasons, but they're few and far in between. Uh, the ones that really have the most badass moments is Mikasa and Levi, because they're, like, the top titan killers. Like, they can kill titans in their sleep, pretty much. And especially Levi, because that man is a beast. He took out, like, what, three titans? Maybe, no, two titans on his own. And he killed, like... There was a point in, I believe, season three, where there was, like, a whole line of titans. And he took all of them out. By himself so yeah that man is a goddamn beast but he's cool but he's not my favorite I will say though about Levi at first when you see him he kind of seems like this stoic uh, you know kind of asshole-ish kind of guy kind of like a Sasuke but when you get to know him you actually find out that he's a pretty decent guy you know and that's what I like too uh, he isn't what he looks. Like, there's actually more stuff to him besides being, you know, the the pseudo-goth character. Uh, and I like that. He's cool. Mm, Mikasa, she can be a little obsessive over Eren sometimes, but she's cool too. Armin, my boy. People need to put more respect on Armin's name. Like, because Armin nearly doesn't get the respect he deserves and that makes me mad armin deserves it all <laughs> like if you don't know armin he's basically the planner you know he plans out strategies uh in fact i, I don't know if i did it. screw it uh he came up with the plan to take out the colossal titan who remember is tall enough to kick a hole in the walls letting the titans through in the first place he's that tall and Armin found a way to take him out. So, yeah. People need to put some respect on Armin's name. And there's a whole, whole bunch of characters, too, like uh, Connie, uh, Sasha, Reiner, Bertolt. There's so a whole bunch of characters that I can't really get into now because this will be a long video because there are a lot of characters in here and they introduce more characters in season four. But to cut the character section short, all of them, I like them uh, besides Bertolt, but I'm not gonna tell you why I don't like him. But if you guys are interested in watching it, I'll link the website where I watched the first three seasons and the fourth season in the website uh in the description i mean i'll link the website where you guys can go watch it but uh if you guys do decide to watch this you'll you'll find out why i do not like Bertolt. Bertolt is a little mm, he's mm, ooh, i don't like him but anyway <laughs> uh the characters genuinely i like them uh, you like the ones that you're supposed to like, and you hate the ones that you're supposed to hate, basically. Uh, and what I think is interesting is that all the characters kind of exist in this moral, morally ambiguous, uh, area. In this gray area. Because some characters do some stuff in the first three seasons, and then our characters, the scouts, Aaron, Mikasa, and the rest do some stuff, do some questionable stuff in season four. So you see where both sides are coming from, but you can also see that they're doing some bad stuff. So I like that the character, there isn't like a, uh, I like how it's not all the, there's no 
good or bad in war, you know? I like how they don't present uh, one side as evil and the other side as good. They're both, like, uh, pretty messed up in their own ways. They're Both of them are doing messed up stuff, but they both believe that they're doing that for the right reasons. So, I like that. I would argue that there's only one truly evil person, and that's Morley, but I won't get into that because spoilers, but I will argue that he's re truly the real evil person here, the actual evil person, because everybody else is just caught up in this and trying to survive. But morally, I, I argue that he's the actual evil in this world. Again, I'm not going to say it because spoilers, but let's talk about the animation. So the animation is really good, especially in the OPs, like uh, the openings. It's, you know, you, you guys get it. Openings, OPs, you, you, you get it. You guys get it. You you y'all get it. But uh, especially in the openings, uh, I, that's where the animation really shines. Like I believe. Uh, the animation for all four seasons is done by a studio called MAPPA, like M-P-M-A-P-P-A, -P -P MAPPA. I, I think I'm saying that right. MAPPA? MAPPA? Uh, M-A-P-P-A. That. Uh, I believe that studio has been animating Attack on Titan for like all four seasons and they're very consistent because the animation is really good especially in the fourth season where they amp up the animation too because there's been a time jump yeah i could say it uh season four has a time jump and uh we see the characters aged and the animation is great especially on some of the titans too when the titans move it's great uh specifically one titan rampaging through a city i'm not going to tell you what that titan is because again i i'm really trying not to spoil this for you guys because i highly suggest you guys watch this anime for yourselves so i'm really trying my best not to spoil anything or spoil anything too much but there's this one specific scene with titans running around the city in season four destroying stuff that is really animated beautifully uh so the animation's great uh the story it evolves from just a simple like survival tale us versus them story and it evolves to like uh we got to take these people out not titans people because there's a whole thing so apparently where the walls are at uh it's called paradise island and the people outside of paradise island are trying to take out uh the paradise island people i, I believe they're called edenians uh i believe they're called like uh i, I believe they're called edenians uh if if i got that wrong correct me in the comments but i believe they're called edenians uh, anyway, the people outside of Paradise Island are trying to take out the people in Paradise Island for reasons. So, it evolves from, like, a simple survival tale to, like, this big war happening with two sides. Both of them think they're right, and they're just going to war. Uh... Specifically, the people on Paradise Island, they feel like they're backed into a corner and they got to do something about it. And it's pretty cool to see. It's it's cool to see the story evolve from what I think is just like a simple survival tale to like this huge spanning war. And that's awesome to see. Uh, overall, I like this anime a lot. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. Uh... That one still goes to My Hero Academia. That will always be my favorite. And uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But it's it's definitely up there. It's definitely in like the top five. Maybe even top three. Uh, 
and for me at least but in general hell yeah it's definitely like one of the top three best animes of all time like do i think it's the greatest no but it's definitely up there and uh I highly recommend it. I give it two thumbs up with a J3T stamp of approval. Like I said, there are four seasons out. Uh, I gotta say, uh, my I don't know which what, what my favorite season would be. Probably season two, because shit really hits the fan in season two. And there's also one specific death in uh, that particular season which really got me which really got to me like uh it got to me so much where i actually had to pause the episode and go take a walk i'm not gonna tell you guys but that that death screwed me up which is something that i forgot to talk about uh the deaths in this anime in this show are are really brutal because as you can imagine because these big ass monsters are walking around eating people alive and the acting is great on the eating scenes because they really just go for it and just scream their lungs out and you can really feel the terror in their voices so props to all the voice actors because uh they really make you feel the terror specifically in the death i was talking about uh, the one that made me pause the episode and go take a walk. That death... Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, that death messed me up. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys. All I'm gonna tell you is that her name is Nanaba. So, remember that name, Nanaba. If you guys... Uh, if you guys watch this show and you get to season two, remember that name, Nanaba. It's her... Yeah. So, overall, I really like it, and yeah, that's about it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But if you really like me and my new camera, my new camera phone, consider subscribing and ring that bell so you always know when I upload, because it's free. Would you really say no to something that's free? Really? Would you? This is...